Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the kitchen. All right, today I'm doing something a little bit interesting. Um, I have kelp noodles. And for those of you don't, that don't know about kelp noodles, they're very nutritious. Um, they're high in fiber. And they help with heart disease to prevent it. Um, they help with constipation if you've got a little plug-in problem. Um, but they're, they're highly nutritious. Um, I always call them the cousins to the sea moss. Um, but they are a great substitute for spaghetti noodles. Um, just like you do with uh, zucchini noodles, you can use these noodles the same way. They're kind of clear, um, more like translucent, um, but they are good. Um, the one thing I like about them, you can make them your own. Um, you can do a peanut sauce, a curry sauce. Well, today we're, we're doing it a little bit different. We're going to do a stir fry, but we're also going to do it raw. Now, I've had this... Um, meal raw before so for those who like eating raw meals this will be good for you okay let me show you what i'm working with <laughs> i'm also cooking dinner for my husband so so a couple little things going on here but we're going to cook our food first because it's really quick half of our meal is raw the other half is cooked um the reason i did that so i can rotate for the rest of the week for lunch and dinner so this is what we're working with we have Taylor Farms, uh, ginger, garlic, veggies, and sauce stir fry kit. I like the shortcut. Remember, I work from home, so every little shortcut I can get, I, I do my best to shortcut it. Now, I always add some of my own veggies uh, for flavor, but uh, I do cheat a little bit. It's already ready. So this is what I'm working with. I'm gonna split this. Part is going in our stir fry, our actual stir fry, um, and the other part is going in our raw. Um, noodle mix. Now I've eaten this raw and I love it. So for those of you that are trying to venture out on a raw diet, this is a good place to start. It's already ready. It has veggies. One thing I do like to add with it being raw is I like red onion in mine. It just enhances the flavor for me. So what else is going on our stir fry? So we have some red onion, big dice. We have some green pepper, white onion, I love these Anaheim chili peppers, de-seeded. You guys remember field roast? Okay, so I left a little package here just in case if you want to know what kind of field roast this is. Um, from my previous pasta uh, video, this is the Italian garlic and fennel. Plant-based, won't miss a beat. Now, these little red onions, that's going in our raw because I don't want big chunks of onion in my raw. I want to taste it, but I, I don't want to be chomping on it. You know, we, we were not doing that. <laughs> so, um, and let me show you the kelp noodles. All right. So these kelp noodles I've put in two different containers. One is for my raw and one is for my stir fry. Okay. Um, I'll get you the brand um, if you're interested. But what you do is the same thing as sea moss. The only difference is you don't have to soak this overnight. Um, you just rinse it um, and you can let it sit in the water for a little bit. It will soften. And you just keep checking on it till it get as soft as you want it to, to be. Um, the, the one that's going in the stir fry, I want that a little bit firm because I'm going to cook it. Um, so that's what we're going to do with that one. The other one, I've already chopped these. The noodles come long. Um, so you want to cut them. But as you can see, they're almost translucent. Mm -hmm. But I've done a little pasta sauce on these. And I did it raw. Um, just some sauce, veggies. Um, and I did it just cut up some stuff and put it in there and I actually loved it okay so maybe I'll do a video on that we'll see but for now we're gonna do this kelp two ways um, and then I'll get started on my husband's dinner cuz ours is gonna be quick okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put you guys down so you can see what I'm adding into the pan of course you know because me and Phil Rose have a little uh, love-hate relationship with this packaging I already took the package off so we don't have those issues today we're going to go ahead and cut them and put them in that pasta. Well, for kelp noodles. <laughs> All right, I have some coleslaw that I'm going to make for my husband. But um, just for something, um, he's a big mayo eater. This little slight pivot here. If you are trying to transition um, from eating uh, whole fat mayo, uh, follow your heart. Um, I swear by this. And he is a mayo lover, and he ate it with no problem. I made him some coleslaw with it and it was approved so 
um, just if you're a mayo lover and you're trying to get away from the whole fat, um, for whatever reasons, just taste or, or health reasons, follow your heart, veganese, that's where it's at. All right, without further ado, skip the commercial. Let me drop you down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Don't mind that other frying pan. That is for Honey and his dinner tonight. So, all right. Turn up my heat a little bit. It's already on, but I want to make sure we get a nice little sizzle going here. Um, the first thing I want to do is open up my, my stir fry and split this in half. So I really want this to be evenly split because if I get fancy enough, I might take my leftovers and make some spring rolls. Show you how to do that. Uh, we'll see. So let's get going. I just got off from work, so um, I'm a little bit hesitant on being in this kitchen all night. So I thought this would be the perfect uh, meal to make tonight. Um, just because. Uh, and then I'll bring this over so you can see what I'm doing. Now, what's going in this pan is just get ready to rock and roll in here. So, we're going to dump everything in here. The one thing with stir fry, if, if you're not cutting up your own vegetables, sometimes they come in bigger chunks than I would like. So, I'll go back through and chop them smaller. All right. So, so you can see the contents. There's all those veggies. And as you can see, there's... <laughs> big big slices we're not doing this tonight we're gonna cut these up um same thing you know all these little chunky things we're gonna we're gonna slice that down but here is the uh sesame sauce that came with it we're also gonna split this i'm gonna put part here because i have some coconut aminos to add to my stir fry and i got a little thing i like uh to add in for a little sweetness and some heat so i'll show you that okay so first the ones that are going in here first are our veggies. So these are our Anaheim chili peppers. I'll put those in there. Our green peppers. Red onion. Get all that in there. I love my knife because I can scoop everything with that. Get all these regular onions in there. Anybody who loves onions and peppers, can, you already know what the aroma is like in here. Um, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now that feel roast. Just like in the pasta video, um, we're just going to cut it. Okay. Nothing fancy, right? There we go. Just like that. All right. You see we got our little baby onions on the side. That's for our raw. So I didn't forget about it. But that's what we're going to add in there. Let's stir these. It is a stir fry, so let's mix these veggies up real quick. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Now, before those get too soft, I want to go ahead and toss in some of these. But I'm going to take care of some of these carrots first because they're a little big. Um, Cutting them a long way um, just to get like some carrot fries. Because um, I, I don't want to chomp on a big old piece of carrot. I want to eat my stir fry. You know, I want to taste everything. And I, you know, I don't want all of that in there. So we're going to take care of big pieces first. All right. The one thing I love about this is that it's quick. I don't have to be on my feet for a long period of time. Especially after working all day. You know, you don't, you don't want to be in the kitchen all day and all night, but you want something fresh. Like I said, Uber Eats is convenient. No, no, that's, I've got them on speed dial. But it's good to take a break from that and cook something nutritious for yourself. All right? So we're just going to finish sorting through here, making sure we don't have these big chunks of veggies. Like, I don't know who cut these up, but I'll tell you the truth. Uh, <laughs> They're huge. Once I get them at a decent size, I'll bring you over so you can see what's in my pan. It looks so pretty. Okay. Alright, now we're just going to go ahead and cook it up. I think 
think I got all the big ones. It even has snow peas in here, y'all. I love snow peas. Now, we won't be adding any mushrooms to this. This is going to be a true uh, stir fry tonight. All right. Let's stir this around. It smells so good, and I haven't done anything to it yet. All right, bring it over so you can see the beautiful stir fry. Look at that. I'm going to cut up those veggies just to make it nice and presentable. No one wants to eat big pieces of carrots and cabbage. So, all right. Now, what I want to do first, because again, um, for those that are soft sensitive, salt sensitive and I said that in a previous video if you're salt sensitive um, you want to make sure that you be careful because soy sauce teriyaki sauce it, it does it has sodium in it so be light-handed if you're salt sensitive if, if you don't have any problems with that and you just love seasoning you do whatever you want okay all right let me grab my knife because I think I misplaced it I sure did <laughs> All right, I washed it off and I put it over there and I forgot all about it. Okay, so we're going to take half of this. Because like I said, I have a little special uh, heat chili, sweet chili I want to put in there. So I'm going to try to measure this to the best of my ability. I only want half of it. Okay. All right, so I got it just about. All right. Okay. Now, next. That smells good already. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in our dill roast. Oh, no, no. That smells good. Okay. All right. Now, okay. now we're going to bring in about a few pounds because remember, this doesn't take long to cook. So, what I have. Get some coconut in there. Okay, I'm gonna add a couple of dashes to this. Um, like I said, I have some other things here, so I'm gonna use the cap. It might be a half a teaspoon. Um, I want the flavor. I don't want all the sodium, but however, um, do one more, um, and that'll make it a, just about a teaspoon. This is lower in sodium anyway, um, so we just want the flavor in there. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Let's try to see this. Look at that. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's go ahead and add those cup noodles in there. And then a little secret sauce I like to put in there just for some sweet heat. Okay. Here's our cup noodles. Once again, here they go. I'm going to drop them right in there. This is filling, and again, it doesn't take long to cook, so I'm going to turn my heat down just a little bit. Oh my gosh, guys. This is a nice presentation. Now, because we already put pretty much all of our seasonings in there, we don't need to add anything else. I have things on standby, but... Okay, so my sweet heat. Franks. <laughs> Red hot sweet chili. I love this. Now I'm gonna keep my commercial G rated for this because but I do put it on everything. So uh, we're gonna add a little bit of this. If you can see me. Gonna add about a tablespoon. Okay. It comes out pretty thick, so just be careful not to shake the whole thing on top of there. Right. Oh my goodness. Ooh. It smells delightful. Alright, guess what I'm gonna do? Because again, this is a stir fry, not a soup. So we're actually done. Doesn't take long at all. Everything's cooked. I'm gonna turn that off. Give you a view here. 
that's it. I'm gonna turn that heat off. It'll simmer a little bit more, and that's fine. But look at those cup noodles. Like, goodness gracious. And it coats, it takes on any flavor that you put in your food. So, if you want it to be teriyaki, do the teriyaki. If you want ginger, do the ginger. But whatever you want, that cup noodle will take on that flavor. All right? So now we're gonna do our raw. Let me go ahead and cover this with a lid. And we're gonna do our raw kelp noodles. All right, my baby, you are done and you smell fabulous. All right, so the first thing, we're gonna finally get this cutting board out of the way because we do not need it anymore. I got my little baby onions. We're gonna drop those in there. Okay. Cutting board done. Get that out of the way so I can have my counter space. All right. Okay. There we go. That's what was left over. Put the little red onion in there, and literally that is it. We're gonna add the rest of that teriyaki sauce. Put that right on in there. And remember, this is raw, so you can coat it to however you want it. Um, for me, I'm gonna hit this with just a little bit of my Franks. That's it, because I don't need anything else on this. This is a nice raw, and this is about a teaspoon because it's raw um, all I need to do is just coat everything I don't want to interrupt the flavor I want to taste this okay so now I'm going to add my kelp noodles oh my gosh now you can taste this and see if you want to add any salt um, I, I happen to be a little salt sensitive so this will work for me. So whatever sodium is in my sauce, I'm with that. Whatever's in my sweet chili, I'm cool with that. Okay, look at that. All mixed in. You wanna just make sure everything's coated. I promise you guys, if you try this, you won't be sorry. Um, the kelp noodles, I'll show you the brand here in just a minute. Kelp noodles can be put in soup. They can be put in salads, they can be put in stir fry. Um, you can eat the raw or hot, it doesn't matter. Whatever your preference is, try them first to see what you like best. I happen to like them cooked and raw. So um, like I said, whatever is left over for me, I have my um, meal prep containers up there. So the cold one, I'm definitely gonna put package that tonight and put that up. That's gonna be my lunch tomorrow. This is dinner tonight. <laughs> so. Um, whatever you like, um, but whatever I have left over, if, if I can pull it off this week, let's see about some time. Uh, you got to make time, time to eat. Um, I might surprise y'all with some spring rolls. I love me a good spring roll and that's the right mixture to put in there. So let me show you the brand of the kelp noodles that I bought. And if you haven't figured it out by now, you probably guess what I got. Amazon. <laughs> All right, these kelp noodles are made by Sea Tangle Noodle Company. They come just like this. And it gives you like a one little recipe on the back, the kelp noodles with some pesto, but the one thing is it'll tell you what it's good for. Just like I said, stir fries, soups, salads, wraps, and rolls. So whatever you want, hey, you do it. Um, that's what we're doing right here. Um, it, it's, it's wonderful, it's filling. Uh, the first time I ate this, I, I was so full. And me being greedy, I'm like, that's not going to be enough for me. Honey, I had to put put half of that down because it, it really fills you up. Takes up a lot of space in your belly. So um, the other thing is, for those that care about gluten, this is gluten-free. It's fat-free. It's low-carb. Um, it has a neutral taste. Thankfully, this is ready to eat. Um, and it's mineral-rich. And once again, just like I told you guys about the sea moss, do your research on this. I mean, hey, you, you can't beat it. And if you are sensitive to gluten and the pasta, this is a good pasta substitute. Um, so check it out. All right, that's what's going on in the kitchen. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and make my husband's dinner, but try the recipe. Uh, you won't be sorry. And again, you can add your own little flair to it. Uh, 
It is what it is. But let me give y'all one more look of my stir fry. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. You can't go wrong with veggies. Especially in stir fry style. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good evening. Thanks.